Hi, my name is Miriam Koyman and I'm one of the curators at Foam Photography Museum in Amsterdam. A few weeks ago, we asked you to come up with questions about an untitled photograph of Harley Weir that she created in 2016 and that belongs to Foam's collection. Today, from my very own living room, I will try to answer your questions and tell you a bit more about this work. Harley Weir is an artist from the UK. She created many photo books, also in collaboration with others, and autonomous photographic series, but she's mostly known for her work in the field of fashion photography. In 2016, Foam invited her to stage her first solo exhibition, and I had the honor to work with her. Hardy Weir created this untitled photograph that is in Foam's collection, actually as part of a fashion shoot that she created for Idea magazine in 2016. That issue was actually entirely devoted to the female gaze, and Harley even shot the, the cover image for it with the model Adwa Awa. The shoot was called Portraits of a Woman. I think that title is very telling because it is indeed really a shoot in which uh, Harley Weir has been able to depict women very freely and naturally. So we see, for example, armpit hair, pubic hair. Um, one little but actually very important detail, I think, in the photograph that we have in our collection is that you can in fact see a pigment spot on the model's leg. And in any other fashion photograph, I think, it would have been photoshopped out of the picture, but here we see it. It is there and it has its own kind of beauty within the composition. One page in the magazine of the shoot actually depicts uh, a contact sheet um, with depictions of, of various nipples, um, some from men, um, most from women. And if you think about it, as soon as something like this would be posted on Instagram, actually half of the contact sheet would be censored. Harley Weir really wants to question this. Why do we set certain boundaries and do they actually make sense? That is not to say that she wants to shock us with female genitals, but rather to question why do certain things shock us? A funny anecdote, for example, is uh, that during the shoot, Harley told me that one of the models actually entered her period but Harley really saw this as an ultimate opportunity to present another notion of the female body, menstruation. Pardo Janini asked how I think the artist is conveying that tension in the photograph and if we also would have noticed that tension if we didn't know the concept and the context of it being part of a fashion shoot. Well, Pardo, actually, I'm actually curious to hear what you would think, uh, how you would answer this question because it actually says a lot about Harley Weir's way of working. When I worked with Harley on her first museum solo in 2016 at Foam, we decided to approach her archive as a collection of images um, rather than in terms of shoots and series. This way we transcended her work from the context and yeah, let images speak for themselves outside of fashion magazines or, and also to create new meanings within those new combinations of works. And I think, in my opinion, or maybe, well, especially by taking this photograph out of its context, uh, it radiates with tension. We see two unidentifiable, probably female bodies, pressed upon each other in various states of undress. So the pose is rather conventional, to say the least. And we basically don't really know what's going on in the picture. The power of the image lies in the confusion. We are left a little bit clueless, but it still radiates with eroticism, desire, um, but also a very natural kind of beauty. We also received a question from Jade Polen, who asked when we actually started seeing the female gaze in photography and how we think the notion of the female gaze has changed over time. Well, Jade, um, that is an extremely good question and also a very complex one to answer. I think it's very um, important to begin with our under understanding of the female gaze. I think it's 
important to realize that the female gaze isn't just a counterpart to the male gaze and it also isn't just about women. It's an approach to reality that moves away from the dominant patriarchy. We could say that our notion of the female gaze has changed towards what we might call a feminist gaze. The feminism I mean that it really strives for the equality of everybody. Uh, not just between men and women. Female gaze might as well be applied by male or non-binary photographers. I think this, um, this photograph and also the entire shoot she created, of which it was a part of, is really trying to overcome the standardized ways of how women should look and behave. And instead she created this shoot in which models are really performing for the camera very freely. It shows us another depiction of the female body that is soft, that is romantic, but also uh, beautiful in its own right. Basically that is uh, what constitutes a notion, at least, of the female gaze. That it's not a depiction of women from a heterosexual uh, white male normative view, but really how would women like to see themselves being represented? In that sense, I think Harley Weir is part of a generation who is really trying to overcome what has for so long been the standard ideal in fashion photography.